hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so this is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to create lookup screen component in salesforce so this is the agenda of this video and please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new under the screen flow how to create this lookup screen so we can create with the help of different types of approach so let's get started without any further delay so I just logged in in my salesforce org so here you can see I just logged in in my salesforce environment and here first of all you have to navigate uh, to the flows so just you have to click on the setup and here under the setup under quick find you have to search like flows and just click on this flows under the process automation just click on this flows here and once you click on the flows here just you have to click on this new button new flow and now it's open been different types of templates so just click on this screen flow first of all here you can see the screen flow and it's a auto layout and uh, how to create the lookup uh, screen component so just click on this plus icon here you have to drag and drop the component under the screen so first of all you have to give your screen name so my screen name is let, let's say screen first okay under this screen you have to add your component and that is called lookup under this fine you can search here that is called lookup now you can see the lookup right so just drag and drop in particular places now it's asking like api name field api name label object api name record id and something like that so based on your requirement you can do that but here we have to consider this name first of all okay so in this e example i am going to show you only account and contact lookups so as you know very well like account and contact we have lookup relationship so i just want to show you here how to work on this lookup under screen flow okay so after that i will show you the custom object that is called teacher and student i have two custom object and uh, based on the custom object how to use that custom object in the lookup screening component under this flow screen so how to do that so first of all let me show you the first step is like uh, standard uh, objects so uh, here you can give the api name like field api name and api name so how to find out so under home just click on this account and here you can see the account right so you can click on this gear icon and you can edit the object as well here just click on this edit and now it's automatic navigate into the account object manager so now you can see the field and relationship so here you can see the api name account right and the field and relationship you can see here like account name everything you can see here but we have like contact and uh, account relationship so first of all you have to click on this object manager under this object manager you have to search the contact right so under this contact you can see here field and relationship we have like account name so as a account name you can see the account id okay as a lookup so we have to consider into this screen here so here you can write like account name and then field api name okay so it's api name sorry let's say this one and field api name so api name is like account id after that you can give here let's say enter account name okay based on your need or let's say you can enter let's say enter contact enter uh, contact or we can say that account yeah like enter or just choose choose account name here right after that you have to give like a, uh, ch a child object api name so child object api, api name you can see like contact right so just here you can see once you give these things now it's a automatic convert into the lookup you can see right so how to use that just click on this done button click on this save and just click on here let's say standard lookup screen flow 
this one and click on this save button and once you click on this save button after that you will be see the output of this screen just click on this debug and once you click on this debug now you will be see the output of this flow so how to get this output here so just click here on this run button click on this run button now you can see the like accounts right choose account name here so once you click this account now you can see the account name automatic listed here that is called Jenny point and Burlington these two records recently viewed re records right so now you can choose your account here so this is the lookup under the screen flow so you can create your lookup like this also you can track this or you can modify this flow based on your need let's say I want to show uh, this screen that is selected account and selected account ID into the next screen so how to do that just click on this plus icon click on this screen and let's say result let's say result under here just search like display text and drag and drop and API name let's say display data right so this is API name so there uh, no space between them and here you can see the screen first right so it's under the screen first we have account name that is called lookup so just click on this lookup and now you can see the record ID so this is the record ID and click uh, and press the enter key and again you have to choose this account lookup and account name so this is the name also you can give like let's say record ID some space the meaningful name here uh, let's say account uh, record name record or just record name record name like this and click on this done button now you can see two screen first is a one screen look up and then you can see the result click on this save button now you have to click on this run button and now we will check here so once you done these things now you can see search account just click on this search account Jenny point click on the next screen and now you will be see the record ID of this current selected records under the lookup and now the name of the record name account record name now you can see Jenny point so this is the way to find out the record ID and uh, uh, selected record uh, under this lookups and screens so this is the first scenario now another scenario is like how to use this lookup screening component based on the custom object because right now I'm using standard uh, like in this screen you can see the standard object name let's say account ID is a predefined right and contact is a predefined that's why so how to use the custom object under this uh, lookup screen flow so let me create another screen under this flow because I want to make it uh, only one flow for this particular uh, this custom or standard objects so just click on this screen again here let's say custom screen custom screen something like that okay under this screen let me show you here first of all you have to choose like lookup first of all just drag and drop this component from here to here right and after that you have to use your API name and label name of the custom object so let me show you the custom object first of all so under here uh, just click in this object manager I have already created teacher and student so just you have to search like teacher now you can see the teacher right and same thing for for you can search like a student as well so you just click on this student now you can see the students here so I have two custom object and I want to use as a lookup under the screen component lookup screen component so how to use that same thing you can process here let's say teacher so you have to give the teacher let's say teacher right and after that you have to give the teacher object API name let's say teacher underscore underscore C then and after that you can select choose or select your teacher like select your teacher something like that right so here select your teacher and after that you can select student here so I want to give here that is called student 
so I have the API name that is called student underscore C of this custom object uh, API name here right so once you've done these things now it's the automatic convert into the like teacher lookup under the student so how to use that same same process just click on this done button once you've done it now you have to click on this save button and let me show you what is the output of this uh, standard as well custom object here so just uh, here you uh, this is the standard first of all so you have to search or you have to select and you can see like uh, this is the selected we already done these things now you have to click on this next screen and once you click on this screen once you click on this one now you can see the demo teacher so I have only one record that's why it's showing here demo so demo teacher now you have to select it now you can see it's automatic select into the demo and this is the uh, lookup under student and this is a teacher lookup under the student object right if you want to show this details about this record in the next screen so you can create let me do that again so under here just click on uh, this plus icon and click on this plus icon click on this screen and let's say uh, final screen final screen and here just you have to do like display text here and API name let's say final result right and here you will be see that is called teacher lookup under teacher lookup you can see the record ID after that you have to select same thing under the teacher lookup like record name here and you can give let's say record ID and teacher name like record name record name like this and click on this done button save it and run this one so just click on this run here and once you execute this one now you can see the standard things first of all let me select this again here the Burlington click on the next now it's showing this ID and the record click on the next and this is the uh, custom and let me select this demo and click on the next now you will be see in next screen that is called demo record ID and then record name that is called demo here so this is all about like lookup uh, we can create the lookup screen component under the flow with the help of a standard object as well custom object so guys I hope learn you learn something new in this video if you feel like this video very helpful for us so you can subscribe my youtube channel and please stay tuned and please follow me and please stay safe stay home and bye bye take care see ya